Hello. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Um, I lost track of time and I had to set up my my space still because this space is normally where the dog kennel is so I have to take down the dog kennel to get it out the door and then do everything. Who's here? Erica. Hey Erica. It's your first work it Wednesday. Are you excited? Hey Rhonda. Hey Brandy. Um, so it's gonna be pretty short short and sweet to the point. Um, so I also wanted to send my heart and my condolences out to Erica. Um, Erica lost her grandmother today, right? Um, and I lost mine Saturday, so I totally know how that is. I know exactly what you're going through right now, and it sucks. <laughs> um, so I feel for you. I do. Let me know if you need anything. Not that I'm much help, because I'm in the same spot, but I can try. We can just be there for each other. <laughs> but... Um, so I wanted to make tonight um, kind of a little bit about like, I don't know, yeah today, okay that's what I thought, um, a little bit, talk a little bit about gratitude, talk a little bit about the business of love. Um, this actually sparked from a podcast that I had watched, um, it looks like I'm bleeding, it's just the lighting, I swear, um, I did write everything down and I have been writing on this all day long, but I did write it all down just so that I don't lose track of my thoughts and lose track of where I am because the last week has been crazy and I'm leaving again tomorrow, so it's gonna be even more crazy and I'm gone until Tuesday, so life's crazy right now, so I wrote it all down so that I don't forget anything and I am basically gonna read from my computer, so don't mind me, but um, a little bit about what, it, what I wanted to talk about first was, um, being grateful for things and just, I don't know if I want to say common courtesy is the word that I want to use, but almost. Um, so just like a little bit of housekeeping, I guess, you know, if, um, someone, if someone gives you a compliment, say thank you. If someone is welcomed to the team page, say hi to them. Don't just scroll by, say hi, make them feel like they're actually welcome. Like we are a team because we are. It takes two seconds, you guys, to just say thank you, to say you're welcome, to welcome someone, to say hi, to give someone a compliment. These little things go a long ways, a long ways. Like, just in life in general, just say thank you, say you're sorry, say you're welcome, say hi, say how are you. Little things go such a long ways. I cannot stress that enough, not just in the Sensi world, but just in life in general. Um, hey, Ebony. So I just wanted to kind of, you know, talk about that and say, you know, if someone sends you a gift card or sends you a card, say thank you. Don't just ignore it. Let them know that you got it and that you are thankful for that. Um, I mean, I just feel like it's really important to be grateful for those things because that kind of shifts your mindset all around, um, which is my first point, actually. <laughs> so for something to change in your life, one of two things have to happen. Your life changes or you do. So waiting for your life to change is a pretty passive solution. Like if you're just gonna sit back and wait for your life to change and you're not doing anything about it, you're being passive. When you're stuck in a problem mentally, you're gonna miss out on all the opportunities for solutions that are knocking on your door every day. If you're just sitting back and not doing anything, you're gonna miss that kind of stuff. It's just gonna be because you don't, you don't see them, you don't hear them, you're not paying attention to them. So you wanna open your eyes to that gratitude that I just was talking about and you want to practice that and all of a sudden things are going to start to fall into place for you and for your business because being an entrepreneur means that you're being proactive not that you're being passive so if you switch your mindset and see that life change it's going to change your whole business all around in probably you as a person too um my second point sorry like i said i'm just going to fly through this because i have not packed at all so I have to, you know, still pack tonight and then I have to go get dog food so I can take my dogs to the boarding place and oh, it's just so crazy again. And guys, last minute flights are not cheap. I am just giving you a fair warning. And even flying to Nebraska is $300 each way. So book your flights in advance. Little tidbit of information for today. Um, 
Gratitude creates solutions is my second point. So adopting a gratitude practice takes you out of a problem and towards a solution. It removes you from complaining mode and into a best outcomes mindset. And that's a skill that you need in your life and in your business for decision making. Um, whole companies and industries have been created from seeing solutions where others only saw obstacles. And my third point on gratitude is, um, I can't speak for all of you, but personally for me, I don't like to do business with jerks or assholes for lack of a better term. Um, I don't like whiners. I don't like complainers and I don't like people who are just generally unpleasant to be around and people who are just going to be negative about everything. Um, there's too many smart, talented, go getters, pleasing people out there and individuals in this world for me to want to be around those that aren't like why surround myself with that. So when you're grateful, you tend to exude and share that contagious positive energy. Fully believe this with my whole heart. Um, so people that like you tend to draw people towards you with what you put out, if that makes sense. If you're putting out a negative vibe, you're probably going to attract negative people. It's just how it is. Um, our energy is contagious and we do good things together and we are better for having come together. And that's pretty much the only contagious thing happening in the world right now that you can get excited about, honestly. Um, so those are the three points on gratitude that I had. And then again, just back to that thanking everyone. Thank people for prizes. Thank people for incentives. Thank people for compliments. Welcome someone to the team page. You guys, those things take two seconds. Like I said, you're on your phone. We're all on our phones all day, every day, no matter what. So take those two seconds to say hi to someone that just joined the team. Make them feel like they're special. Make them feel like they're wanted here. Because how would you want it to be if I posted a picture of you on the team page and said welcome and literally nobody said anything? How would you feel? You'd be like, okay, well, nobody really cares that I'm here. So take those two minutes to say thank you, to say hi, to tell them something that you like about Sensi. It makes a world of difference because think about how you wanted, would want to be treated if that was you. Um, some employees simply work thankless jobs. These are the people who aren't necessarily, I want to say zero players. It's actually just a wall. It's really all it is. Um, <laughs> there's also a bed next to me that we've been talking about getting out of here for a while now so that I have more room because you basically can't move around in here. There's too much sensey stuff, but, um, anyways, um, where was I? What was I going to say? You distracted me. Um, to really incorporate gratitude into your workplace or into your business, <laughs> um, seek, seek out the people who are going to be thankful for things. Don't forget to still thank those who work publicly appreciated jobs, but go out of your way to thank the others. Make sure your workforce sensei, knows just how important everyone is. Um, so that's all I have on gratitude. And then I'm going to move on to the business of love, which I feel like they go together. Um, Erica, I'll show you pictures of what this room actually looks like because it doesn't look all pretty like this background. <laughs> um, so the last few months of my life, especially the last week, <laughs> really, um, have been filled just with lessons about like what I really want to do, what makes me happy, what fulfills me, how much time do I really want to spend working. For some reason, that's really been something that I've been thinking about a lot. Like how much time do I actually want to be at work or do I want to work for myself? Do I want to make sense in my full-time job, which I do. I definitely do want to do that. Um, so a question that I've been thinking about that I feel like kind of puts things into perspective is, perspective is if you were to die in seven days what would you do what truly matters um, would you be stressed out about half the things that you're worrying about right now probably not would you be at work probably not would you be or w instead of doing those things would you be focused on the relationships that you've built and the connections that you've made surrounded by family I think most people would say the latter part of that you know being surrounded by relationships and family and connections versus being stressed out about their business and their money and how much they've sold and all of that because life isn't about the accolades and business is not about the accolades. Of course, there's always going to be strategy. There's always going to be things to do. There's always going to be a never ending to do list. It seems like, um, you know, you have to manage a team, you have to work on customer service. Um, 
and you have to make sure that things are going right. That's always going to be something that, you know, you have to do. But if you had seven days left, I don't think that you'd be focused on what software you're using, what email you're sending out, your what your sales are, how much PRV you have. Um, if you had a big launch party, who you, um, who you coach or how much you make. I don't think that's something that any of us would really be that concerned about. Um, like I said, I can't speak for all of you, but I would think that at least the majority. And it would be more about the relationships and the people that you've helped and who has helped you. Um, focusing on where I should be rather than where I am now is a big difference too that I've learned. Like I don't want to focus on where I should be in my business, what I should be doing, but rather focus on where I am and what I have accomplished and what I have already done and where I am already at. And that just changes that mindset all over. You know, it's about the people. When you take care of people and make people feel like you give a shit about them, um, when you're focused on changing lives and helping them feel like they matter, spreading love, creating love, cherishing relationships, being grateful, that's going to make all the difference in your business. Like I said before, if you are, you know, really talking about the relationships with people versus how much you sell, it's going to make a world of difference. And it's not, it's not about those sales. It's really not. It's about those relationships that you're building. And back to, again, you know, welcoming people to the team page, saying hi, saying thank you, saying you're welcome, saying I'm sorry. Those little things go a long ways. Appreciating people around you. I don't know how many of you have read the book, You Are a Badass, but it talks about, like, your vibrations and stuff, which I highly recommend that book for anyone who has not read it. Um, but, you know, when you're focused on appreciating those kind of people around you, that's going to come back to you. That appreciation is going to be shown to you because what you put out can't help but come back to you. Your vibration is going to raise. You're going to go up here and you're going to feel like you're on top of the world. And if you are focused on who you can help, how you can serve them, the money is always bound to follow. The sales will come. It will happen. But without building relationships and appreciation and gratitude and recognition, you might not be able to get to where you are because really that's what it comes down to are those relationships. If you did, okay, so picture this, company A, company B, or however you want to think of it. But if company A is over here and they make you feel empowered and they make you feel special and like you're an incredible human being, they welcome you to the team, they make you feel like you're so important, they tell you good job, um, you know, just little things like that. Say little things, comp give you compliments, you know. And then this other company, company B, sorry, it throws me off and my camera's backwards. Company B, they just treat you like you're another person. Like you're another sale. You're just another number. Oh, I'm getting an order from you. That's it. Which company would you rather work with? Are you going to go to company A who makes you feel like a human and like they give a shit about you? Or are you going to go to company B who's like, oh, you're just an order. You're just a sale. That's all and not really care about what's going on in your personal life, what you've been doing, how you're feeling, just anything in general. No, you're not gonna wanna go to that company. You wanna go to go company A. Um, you will easily give so much more money and business to that person. But in addition, as you guys probably know, I'm referring to like person A, Sensi Consultant A and Sensi Consultant B. Um, you know, obviously, Sensi Consultant A is a much better consultant to work with if they make you feel like you're a human, not just a sale. But it's also, in addition to giving your money to that person who makes you feel special, you're going to send your friends, your family, your coworkers, strangers, you're going to send everyone to that company because of the way they make you feel instead of sending them to company B or say, letting them say they're going to go to company B. You're going to send them to company A person A. And the biggest lesson that I have learned uh, as of lately um, with my business expanding and, you know, my customer base expanding, if I'm not building those relationships with people and I'm just reaching out asking for if they need anything or need an order, most of the time they're not going to respond. If I just ask and text them and say like, hey, how are you liking your new sense? Or just something, you know, make small talk, hey, how are you doing? How have you been? They're a lot more likely to respond than if I just ask and see if they need anything. Um, so people 
you know that saying it's not what you did but it's how you made them feel I love that saying too um, so you want to give to others without expectations because you are in the business of love and relationships and gratitude and recognition like I've said um, as soon as you accept that and start treating your business that way and the other people around you like I said the money can't help but follow you it can't help but come to you because you become a magnet for whatever you need whatever you desire whatever you're putting out there you're gonna become this giant huge magnet and everything's gonna come to you I mean it's not just gonna come to you like I said if you're being passive but if you're being proactive about it and making sure that you're going out of your way to reach out to someone to send them a thank you card to send them a birthday card send them flowers say happy birthday whatever it might be if you're going out of your way to do that with relationships again this is your whole life not just your business but they do intertwine a lot um those things aren't gonna you know they're not gonna be able to stay away from you those kind of things are gonna come back to you and so huh, how fast did i talk <laughs> that's really all i have um who's still here Erica, I'm pretty sure you're still here. Um, does anyone have any questions? Because that is all I have. And I know that that was short and quick and a lot of words all in one. Um, but I just wanted to take a minute to talk about all of that because I feel like it's important, especially, you know, with the events that I've had happen over the last week. And um, yeah, just to point out, you know, that those kind of things come back to you. It really helps. It changes a lot of things. So um, Erica and Rhonda. Do you guys have any questions? Erica or Rhonda? Either one. I'm still here. I'm about to close it in order to reach it. Cool. Nice. You're going to reach that tonight? That's awesome. You know you didn't have to do that by the end of the month, but that's really good that you are. Um, anything else? Yes? No? All right. Well, Erica, my heart goes out to you because I know what you're going through. Um, your mom said I did. My mom said you did. Tell me about helping March rocks. Oh, nice. Are you doing a fundraiser like at church or where are you doing a fundraiser? Um, that's exciting. That's really exciting. I still haven't done a fundraiser, but I want to do one because they could be huge for your business. They can expand your network. They can get you a bunch of new customers. You're making other people do the work, which is always awesome. Church, nice. That's really good. Are you going to do a full catalog fundraiser or just like scent circles or just car bars or don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Scentsy sells itself. It really does. Scentsy sells itself. If people smell it and see it, they're sold. It's that easy. <laughs> you really don't have to sell it. You know, it's just sharing. So, okay. nice, nice, awesome. Well, that's all I have, you guys. Um, I might be somewhat out of touch again this weekend. As I said, I will be gone tomorrow through Tuesday. Um, I'll be back Monday night, actually. But if you need anything before then, please text me. Um, let me know. But I just might take a little while to respond. So. I hope that you all have a great night and a great weekend and we finished out this month strong but you know no I'm surprised my mom would say that because that's not right <laughs> it's just whenever you submit your first party order you get the thousand points um, but yeah finish or start March strong because we have a new catalog, we have new products, we have new scents, a bunch of cool stuff. The um, March warmer of the month, I haven't opened it yet, but I've heard it's really cool and that the scent is really good. Which, by the way, if you guys are not signed up for scent and warmer of the month, that is a business write-off. It's worth it. You can make samples um, out of all the bars. You can sell stuff. You can sell the warmer if you don't want it. Um, so it's really good just to know what products we're getting and everything so that you can talk about them to your customers. So I have a huge collection of warmers and that is why. But anyways, love you guys. Hope you have a good night and a good weekend and let's rock it. Okay, Erica, I'll send it to you. All right. Bye guys.